Oh, welcome, welcome to the fuck fucking game. Hello, Hello and welcome to... What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm introducing the segment. Yeah, but we agreed that it would be me this time. No, we didn't talk about it at all. You introduced it last time, so I'm gonna do it this time. Did I? Dalton, I swear to God, I'm tired of your crap. You need to put the thing You let me introduce this time. Alright, we'll pull the trigger. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Are you gonna? I'm gonna pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Paul E. Wannacracker, and, uh... This is the Funk of the Hour. <laughs> Funky Shepherd will be screening Forgery at the Denver Underground Film Festival on March 23rd. The event begins at 7pm, and for more information, go to their website at deafcinema.org. With Funky Shepherd's Forgery screening at the Denver Underground Film Festival this Saturday, I sat down with the film star, Ethan Funkbray, for an exclusive interview. Uh, Mr. Funkbray, I'd like to thank you again for joining me uh, today and taking time out of your schedule to, to make this interview happen. Thank you for, thank you for having me, yeah. Your nipples are seen numerous times in the film. Why? Well, you know, uh, we knew we knew well early in the production of the project the, that that was going to be a choice, and you know, I talked about it with Calvin a lot, and really the bottom line was, you know, we had to we had to we had to sell the movie, you know, and especially with us being very independent, you know, we're still up and coming, we've got to grab some people's attention, turn some people's heads, and so we thought. Um, uh, that would have intrigued some people, maybe. Uh, Dalton himself was also shirtless. You know, he's got the... the muscles and stuff. Um, but, you know, with, with me, uh, we decided I was going to do that because we wanted to represent a more uh, average American, you know, someone who doesn't lift heavy things on a daily basis, someone who uh, sits down a lot, and so that was the reasoning behind that. What's with the hair, man? I could ask you the same thing. I'm not the one being interviewed. Well, it's, uh, it's for, uh, it's for the, it's for Country Mustard, uh, and in the film I play a, a shepherd, um, someone who is, uh, not that clean, has his hair out, and so I uh, have to look the part. It's hard to deal with right now, a little bit. Uh, everything's just very long and scruffy. Yeah, it's like a funky scruff. Yeah. It's a good nickname. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, funky scruff. Funky scruff. No. I'll just go by that now. Ethan's gone. That's, that's, that's my new name. Hey, Ethan. Hey, fucky scruff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. I like, that. yeah. All right. Final question. It's a very important one. Um, do you still have Andrew's glasses? I do. Put them on. <laughs> you look like Jeffrey Dahmer's homeless brother. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. And now we go over to Sarah Killorn for Sarah Kills Movies. So I'm here to explain some of the uh, plot lines of Country Mustard. It's completely and entirely convoluted, so bear with me. So, you have a, a ranch, it's happy, there he is, and that he ends up like that a little bit, okay, and then they're, so they're in the same realm, and then let's say over here, 
Love. This this person goes uh, over here to discover this happening and interacts with them. And then, in another realm, that's a motorcycle, you got some other players. And all of these people interact in a, a singular area. You don't need to know that yet. A, oh, I forgot about this guy. So they all interact in this realm. And then also on the side, you got a, that's a horse. But most importantly, mustard. <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm that famous actor you love from television. And your favorite show. I'm here to talk to you today about a very rare condition. It's called the off ass. If your ass has been off for longer than four hours, talk to your doctor about on ass. Look at all these happy customers, before and after pictures and all. See how happy they are when their ass is turned on? You're welcome. <laughs> That's the commercial. <laughs> Now we go to director Calvin T. Shepard for his one sound reaction reviews to the hottest movies of the recent year. E. Uh, uh. Eh. Ah. Hey. Hey. Mm. Woohoo! <laughs> Rip off. Yeah. <laughs> I love it actually. <laughs> That's the funk of the hour. I'm Mr. Clean. And I'm probably gonna die one day. And I'm just as confused as you are. You're still funky. So, if you look at it from my perspective, mm -hmm. then it wasn't really my fault. It was completely your fault. No, okay, look, you he... were holding the stick. Yeah, but he came at me. So you were going after him. Who stole the pies? Who set the child on fire? You did pet the dog as well. I'm not comfortable answering these, answering these questions. But you did it. If yeah. we don't ask them, you someone did. else will. If you don't ask them, nobody has to know. I am asking. This is all being recorded. Hey Bob, can we cut to black? <laughs> <laughs>